Hey guys, it's Janie, and welcome back to the Book Rooms, buddy. Um, it is now time for my April TBR, which I'm really excited about this month because I think I got some really good picks. So these aren't in any specific order, um, and of course we're going to have the book jar and the Kindle pick as well. So I'm going to start out with, um, well, like I said, there's not in any specific order. Um, Brother Odd by Dean Kuntz. This is actually part of the Bookathon in our group. I'll link below for um, our Bookathon if you'd be interested in joining. Um, I've already read the first two books, so I'm jumping in on this one in their third month, and this one is uh, Brother Odd. Um, I really like Odd Thomas series so far. It's been pretty good. So um, I've not been out disappointed a whole lot with Dean Coons, but he's kind of a hit and miss with his book. So, you know, one may be good, the other may not. But um, this series has been pretty good. Um, the next one I chose is Harlan Coben's Six Years. I've been dying to read this book. I cannot wait to read this book. So I'm going to read it this month. And um, I've heard it's pretty good. And I like Harlan Coben. I've, I've liked what I've read so far. I think he's a really talented writer. So I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I'm not going to be reading the synopsis and stuff because it takes a long time to do that. The next one is The Coffin Dancer by Jeffrey Deaver, book two in the Lincoln Rhyme series. This is also for our bookathon um, in the book rooms buddy in the book room buddies group, and I'm looking forward to getting a little bit further into Lincoln Rhyme's life with Amelia Sachs, and um, I really enjoyed The Bone Collector, so I'm hoping that this one's going to be just as good. I'm looking forward to reading it. The next one I chose for this month is Assassin's Code by Jonathan Mayberry, book four in the Joe Ledger series. I'm kind of anxious to find out what this one's going to be about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this one because I really enjoy his stuff. When Joe Ledger and the Echo Team rescue a group of American college kids hostage in Iran, the Iranian government asks them to help find six nuclear bombs planted in the Mideast oil fields. These stolen WMDs will lead Joe and Echo Team into a hidden vaults of forbidden knowledge, mass murder, betrayal, brotherhood of genetically engineered killers, and a thirst for blood. Accompanied by the beautiful assassin called Violin, Joe follows a series of clues to find the Book of Shadows, which contains a horrifying truth that threatens to shatter the entire world view. So, um, yeah. Another terrorist, terroristic book. Um, I think that's what his whole series was based on, was um, terrorists and stuff. So it's really been enjoyable so far, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Next is Karen Slaughter's Fractured, book two in the Will Trent series. I've been looking forward to um, getting further into this series because Karen Slaughter is a new author for me. And um, I've really, I really enjoyed Triptych, so this one's probably going to be just as good. Um, this is where a girl has been savagely murdered in the hallway. Her mother stands amid shattered glass, having killed her daughter's attacker with her bare hands. Detective Will Trent of the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is one of the first on the scene. So, sounds pretty good. The next one we've got is Angie Sage's Quest. This is book four in the Septimus Heap series. Again, beautiful cover. Um, I've really been enjoying the reread of this series. Um, this it this will be the last reread that I have. The the next two after this one I have not read them at all, so I'm finally there. Um, but these are so fluid and so easy to read. I've just really been enjoying the 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 premise, the characters, the storyline. Everything is great. The next one is City of Bones. I've read this before. But I really decided to get seriously into the series now, so I'm going to reread City of Bones because it was a while before, I don't even know, a year since I've read it. I don't know. So I really want to um, get this series going. So I'm looking forward to getting back into it. Um, if anybody doesn't know, which I'm sure is nobody that doesn't know, this is book one of the Mortal Instruments so, by Cassandra Clare. And I'm looking forward to it. We've got the first four books. Um, my husband actually read the fifth book because my daughter brought it home from the school library. He's read the series. So, I want to read this so then I can get into 
the Infernal Devices, so um, which is supposed to be the prequel to this series. And last one that I chose is Wizard and Glass by James Patterson. This is one of his other young adult series. There's actually it's a trilogy, and I've been really wanting to get into this one. I don't know anything about it, so um, it's come out in the last few years, but this is probably a one sitting book right here. It's got, hold on, let me see how many pages is in this. This has got 307 pages in it, and it's super easy to read, if you can see that. So, um, this is probably going to be like a one-sitting book. Okay, that was the books that I picked. So now, we are going to start with one other book off the shelf. Shake that up really good. And let's pull out... See what we got here. The Dreams of Ada by Robert Meyer. Um, I believe this was based on a true story. So, um, let me get that book. Right here. Uh, the Dreams of Ada. It is a riveting true story of a brutal myrtle in a small town and the tragic errors made in pursuit of justice. So... I had actually just hauled this book um, in March. It was in one of my March book hauls. And um, I just really found it interesting and picked it up. So I'm looking forward to reading that. So there's that one. And now for our Kindle pick. Let's see what we get out of here. Death Whispers by Tamara R. Blodgett. Death Whispers. Um, so we'll keep that over there so I know. And that is my April TBR, guys. Um, thanks for staying tuned. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye.